everyone, welcome back to House Plan Essentials. I'm Bryce. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching me today. Guys, guess what? It's spring! Yes, it's spring. It's finally here. The growing season is among us. What? Oh my goodness, what an interesting winter this has been. I made a pact or made a promise to myself, or I don't know what you want to call it, but I made a decision to stop fertilizing my plants in probably like November. Um, and uh, I really sucked with it. I said I wasn't gonna fertilize until it was spring and that's March 20th. And so anytime after spring, I will fertilize. Well, you know what happened? A lot of things did happen. My plants pretty much did not stop growing. I have to say that. So, hey, you know what? Live and learn. It was a good learning experience for me. So, you know, over the last couple of months, I have acquired some more rare and expensive plants. And um, I've been thinking about the way I go about fertilizing. And for those plants specifically, I want to use liquid earth for them. You might have heard this stuff about the stuff. It is great. It was highly recommended by Harley G. She just loves this stuff so much. And so I figured I would give it a whack. So um, I will explain what this is in a little bit. Um, so I, I do want to like still mention that I really love these Job's fertilizer sticks and I will continue using on them uh, on my more you know, common houseplants, ones that um, I can easily replace if um, they something happens with them with the f burn or anything from fertilizer. But um, for my more expensive ones, I just feel more comfortable using liquid dirt. All right. So I hope that makes sense. And um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to mix it together, how to kind of administer it. Um, and yeah, I thought that this would be really helpful for my followers. So, yep, stay tuned. Okay, so let's talk about what liquid earth is, all right? Because there might be some confusion about what it actually is. So this is liquid earth. It comes in this pouch. This is highly concentrated powder, and I'll show you how to mix it and everything. But this is actually not a fertilizer. What it is is, in fact, I'll just read it from the, um, from the package itself. Um, it's a balanced vitamin and mineral formula with microfungi and bioorganisms, together enhancing healthy growth for vibrant flowers, amazing houseplants, and flavorful produce, all without chemicals or odors. You can use liquid dirt on your um, home, garden soil, <laughs> greenhouse, hydroponics, outdoor aquaponics, Vegetables, flowers, trees, shrubs, lawns, and houseplants. And da, 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 bum, 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 whatever. Um, <laughs> this is 100% pet safe and environmentally friendly. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is a plant food and um, it does still act like a um, fertilizer. It's just not actually a fertilizer. Like you're not going to come and find an MPK ratio on here. Um, it's, it's not like that, right? No, no, none of those chemicals or anything. So, um, that's what liquid earth is. Um, I feel pretty safe giving it to my plants. Um, although, you know, I'm still a little bit nervous about administering anything new to my plants because you, you won't know for a couple waterings what, what really happens, but I'm going to trust that the plant gods have my plants, you know, in their watch. <laughs> so anyway, next uh, we'll go ahead and get it all mixed up. Okay, so you'll kind of notice I've got a little setup here going. I've got some um, jugs here. So I got a gallon jug. I've got a couple um, half gallon jugs right here and I've got a measuring cup. So um, this is all coming from the instructions on the back, although I did watch uh, several YouTube videos about how it's all put together. All right. So we're going to go ahead and open the pouch and just be a little careful. It might spread out. It's got black nano powder in it. So nanotechnology, that's pretty cool. And what we want to do is take a, um, um, sorry, a cup of water, 
a filtered water, always use filtered water with liquid dirt. Um, use the cup of water to put, pour it into the um, pouch. Almost there, almost there, whoop, right up to the end. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap back on. We're gonna give it a good shake. And this is gonna form what we call the concentrate, all right? So we'll get this all put together. We're gonna take our gallon water, filtered water, of course, as I said, and just really give it a good shake. And then we're going to pour one capful in for um, this gallon. Just a capful. It's pretty nice. And it's like a brown liquid. It looks almost like oil. She's like, ah, what, what am I putting in her? <laughs> So one of these pouches, when you fill it up, will have <clears throat> over 50 gallons of uses. So this is one. So we've got 49 after this one. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna give this one a good shake. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so then we're gonna take all the instructions that I saw were like to take a uh, two tablespoons per quart, it, it put two tablespoons of the liquid dirt um, stuff into a quart, all right? So this is a half gallon uh, jug. So this has two quarts in it. So if you have two, uh, two tablespoons per quart and there's two quarts, that's four quarts. I mean, four tablespoons. Whoa, over my head, oh my goodness. All right, now we wanna pour the four uh, tablespoons, which I've got a little measuring thing here, and I'm gonna do it over the measuring cup just in case it spills, because that would probably happen with me. One. See, see? To, I gotta find a, fig, a, a better way to um, do this. Three. Oh, it's right at the top. Four. Oh my goodness, it is like on the top. I guess I didn't. Uh, really think that one through, huh? Okay, so there we go. Now we have the stuff that's ready to feed our plants. So that's the next step. We are going to go ahead and go get some plants that need to be watered. And that's a, an important thing is make sure that they need to be watered because you don't want to just willy-nilly, um, <laughs> sorry, willy-nilly, um, you don't want to fertilize your plants if they don't need to be watered because guess what this is right here? It's water too. So you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay, so I'm going to go find some plants and I'll be back. Okay, here we have our plants. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um, I went out and I checked my plants in my bedroom because that's where the majority of the plants are that I'm going to be using the um, liquid dirt with. And I did use my moisture meter to check to see if they need to be watered. That's still really important. You don't want to fertilize them if they don't need to be watered because the fertilizer is practically all water anyway. All right, so I've got a couple things here. Um, I am going to go ahead and bottom um, feed, I suppose I could call it, bottom feed the plants. And um, you can bottom water, you can top water. 
uh, with the fertilizer. It's all up to you. It still goes up into the plant or down into the plants the same way. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to be a little more um, frugal about how much I put in here. That's about right. So the first one I have is my Anthurium Crystallina. So, um, you know, I am a little nervous about doing this, um, but I do trust Harley G. And if um, she's wrong, then I will track her down. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and here we go. We have my Monsteriti Constellation. Isn't it pretty? Um, so I'm gonna set that in here too. Have my philodendron ring of fire. Oh, love this plant. Um, so I don't know if you can see the ones in front. Uh, we have a, oh wow, it's really grown out. Um, this is a Synapsis Silver Hero. Um, this is the free one that I got from the seller in um, Indonesia. Uh, like so, so sweet. And then um, over here, we also have my uh, Synapsis Chubii Moonlight. That's one that I wanted for a very long time, as you know. And last but not least is my Dilidi. <laughs> I love the sound effects, right? So awesome. Um, this is my philodendron Bob C. B O B C E E in the house, what you know. <laughs> Uh, that's going to go in here as well. All right. So yeah, I am very happy about this. Um, next, we're just going to let it sit for 30 minutes like we normally would and then take them out to drip dry and that's it. So yes, that was a really, really easy little step-by-step -step, uh, thing. So, all right. All right, that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, I really liked this. Um, I thought it was a very easy process to mix and give to plants. Um, I can't give any comments about the product itself and how it actually works. I'll have to do that in a future video. I'm really, really hoping that this stuff just is the bee's knees and um, kick some ass, all right? <laughs> so. Anyway, that's it for our liquid dirt. Um, if you like today's video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and then you'll get to be part of this Gorga, this gorgeous houseplant loving family. And you'll get notified of new content when it's available. Thank you so much for watching and everyone stay beautiful.